I've received numerous heart-rending appeals in respect of funeral services. The prohibition on funeral services has had a, sig a very significant psychological, emotional, and spiritual impact on those who have lost loved ones. The inability to have a proper funeral service on the passing of their loved ones uh, makes it more difficult to get closure. The government has taken note of this, and we are examining the possibility of allowing funeral services with specific restrictive protocols. Now, I don't want this to be interpreted as a change in the protocol. The protocol as is still stands. Funeral services are prohibited, but we have been in discussion with the churches and, you know, for example, I received one very touching letter from a family whose family member passed and that family member was the founder of the church and because of the prohibition they were not able to have the family member who dedicated his entire life to building this church to have the final rites administered in the church that he worked so hard and it, it really had an impact on the family and I sympathize with them but I, I couldn't do anything uh, I couldn't make any exceptions but it is something that we have to think about very carefully in trying to achieve that delicate balance in this society. So we are examining it, and uh, hopefully uh, next year we will come to Parliament again with a proposal. We can have it discussed and see what, what can be done.